Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 6 Chapter 10 Basic Geometry Exercise 10 Question 4. <coughs> so here we have uh, the, this figure given and we have to answer the questions that are given accordingly. So let's see the first part. Line whose point of intersection is P. We have to name those lines whose point of inter intersection is P. Now uh, it, it can be two, two lines can also intersect or three or four or more than that can also intersect. We have to name all the possible ones, right, that you see. So we have to see point P. Now see, you will find there is a small P here and a capital P here. So both are different. This P is used for naming a line. Line is named with a small letter. Always, always you see here, L, M, N, P, R, Q, all these are named with small alphabets indicating that they are lines. Now if you see these that are named with capital S, T, W, Z, X, R, Q, P, right, U, V, these are points. They are named with capital alphabets. So lines with small letters and points with capital letters. So see the difference now we have to look for this one, right, forget about this now. See point P is this capital one, can you see this? right this point now see what lines are coming and meeting so point of intersection is that point where two or more lines are meeting right it can be three like this right this is the point of intersection by what it means so see what lines are coming here l can you see this one two lines are intersecting first is this one which is l second one you can see this one which is q don't look at these capital letters they are points only look at small letter because it is line we have to name what lines we have to write the lines so one was l another one if you go this way you'll find that it is q then see the second one right which is lines whose point of intersection is t now you have to search for t so where is o o t let's see this one right can you see this Again, look for the lines that are intersecting here. First is this M, right? So here I'll have M, right, this one. And then if you see it this way, you find this line, which is what? R, so M and R. Then see the third one. You have all pairs of parallel lines. Now we are supposed to name all the parallel lines that we find here, right? So let's do that. What are parallel lines? Parallel lines are those lines which never meet, right? So like this I make one, right? And this I make another line. These two lines will not meet when you extend them in any direction, right? In this direction, you can see they will not meet. These are called parallel lines. Intersecting lines are those lines which intersect each other, right? These are called intersecting lines and this point is called what? Point of intersection, okay? Now, this is, these are the differences between the two and we have to search for these type of lines. Look for this pattern, the two lines that never meet and most of the places you will find these same lines, right? See, can you look for this? It's type of a, it's like a rail track, right? So can you see it's like a track, these lines here, right? They are coming parallel to each other. Let's name them also. First, you have to name two line because it is written pairs. So you have to name two at once, right? So one pair can have two, let's see, L and M. So first one, right? L is going this way, M is going this way. And if you extend it any uh, way further, it will not meet. So first pair is done, right? Now I'll separate it with semicolons. Then se second pair, if you see M and N, right? Because this way and this way, again, they are parallel. Third one, L and N. Don't miss out on this. This is also coming parallel. This one is also coming parallel. So these two also become parallel to each other. L comma N. Let's see the next one. All pairs of intersecting lines. Now here you have to be careful. Look with each point carefully. So you have to name the pairs of intersecting lines. That means again two lines you have to see. Let's begin from here. L. L is intersecting with R, so L and R, right, then you see here, 
uh, this L is done this R is done right and then L and can you see one more line here P these are intersecting at point V L right and then this small P over here which is there so L and P these two lines are intersecting at point V so they are also intersecting lines all right can you see any other lines this way here one more I can spot with point L only you can see L and Q L here and Q here intersecting at point P so it is also a pair of intersecting lines then see the next one um, now all the lines with point L are done right this one is done this one is done this one is done let's move on to the next one M so you can see M is intersecting again with P so write that down then you will see this one is already done MP now see M and this R this is also intersecting can you see M here and R they are intersecting at point E we had already uh, done this one right and then see the next pair of lines so uh, M P is done M R is also done let's see this one M and Q again are intersecting right then see the next one all the lines with M are done M R M P and M Q let's move on to N so you can see N is intersecting first here at X with P so N P all right then see N is intersecting here at point Z with R N R right you can put the comma in between okay I forgot that okay sorry right now see N P is done and R is done now N and Q, Q you can see N and Q are left right so all the lines with N are done as well uh, can you spot any other pair of lines that are intersecting let's see Q R is Q R done uh, sorry Q N right Q N is done L this one is not done right Q P can you see point P here so P and Q is not done right so let's do that because you can see P Q is nowhere written so last one I'll uh, on not the last one see here I'll do it here P Q is your next pair right P and Q right and all the other ones that are there LP that is done MP is also done and NP is also done right so that's it and uh, L and R is done as well right so that is it the last one here P again here and R they are intersecting R Z so we have one more that is R okay all right then the fifth part is what let's see this is lines whose point of intersection is i so can you spot here i is this point right and p is intersecting here and what else is intersecting here f right so you can see at point f p and m or simply n form and p they are intersecting then the sixth part you have line whose point of intersection is s so this is s you have l here and you have what R here? N R. All right. And first, so today if you are doing my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like this one. And then take good care of yourselves and love.